Good morning, traders and investors. Roger Scott here, senior strategist for The Trading Pub. I got to get used to saying it. It's Friday. It's September 15th. Where did this week go? I have no idea. Uh, it's about 7.51 in the morning. The market's going to gear up to open up in about an hour and 39 minutes. Yes, an hour and 39 minutes to be specific with you. The Dow's up about 85 points. The Nasdaq is down about 10. Nothing really to write home about. One of the major factors that I do want you to pay attention to today is the fact that the bond market, yes, the bond market is actually breaking down. And remember what I was saying, it's, it looks like it can go either way, but it's clearly breaking down. This is gonna put more pressure on technology stocks. So keep that in mind as we go through the day. Whenever yield gets higher on interest rates, bond stock, uh, bonds put pressure on technology stocks. Now, speaking of technology stocks, I wanna show you something. There's a lot of stuff going on right here. I just wanna show you the 20 day breakouts to the upside. <clears throat> These are uh, breakouts here. I confused it. So you could see a lot of stocks are breaking out. A lot of very interesting stocks are breaking out. For example, Tesla, look at Tesla. It looks like it's got a breakout. I would love to buy Tesla right above, um, right above this 279, 280 level. I think it's gonna go up to about 290 level. Uh, financials look really good. They're breaking out right here. They look like they're going to go to about the $35 level. Alphabet looks great. It's breaking out. There's nothing stopping it right now. Carvana, hello, hello. I talked about it yesterday. Uh, you got Microsoft breaking out. All of these stocks are making swing highs and breaking out of a range. Uh, you've got Rivian. You've got, again, Google. You've got the energy sector that's doing really well. Meta is, Meta is breaking out. Um, so this is really, 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 really good. And there's more, there's, there's, a, there's Oxy, there's uh, Micron. But the point is, the point I'm making is this is very good for the broad market, the fact that we're having these breakouts. And also the fact that the SPY is in fact now trading above the 50 day moving average. And I'm hoping it's gonna stay there. Now, most of the stocks we actually looked at were in the QQQ and the QQQ, which is down slightly right now, has been above the 50-day uh, moving average for two days. So if we could, if we can just close a hair higher, we can we can make some really good momentum. And volume is starting to pick up here, as well. You could see right here. Oops. Right there, you could see right there. Volume is starting to pick up as well. So, so I am starting to gain a little bullish. Bullish, but I'm very I'm very hesitant to go really heavy because of the bond market. The bond market is not making me happy at all right now. This is not good. And if this continues, and if we break lower below 92, that's gonna put higher yield uh, on treasuries, and that's gonna be a big problem. So again, just wanted to warn you. Now, what are algos doing right now? What have they been doing this week? Well, I'll tell you. They've been hitting the broad market actually pretty hard. Uh, they've been hitting the financial sector pretty hard. They've been hitting QQQ not so hard, but they're starting to. One of the sectors that they've been hitting really, really hard this week have been utilities. And matter of fact, if you look at utilities right now, they're starting to gain some traction. They're starting to get above the 50-day moving average. This may be a good time to start going into utilities. They've been having a lot of green bars. Volume has been a little bit better than expected here. But uh, I, I would probably wait for us to hit the 100-day moving average, but there's definitely some buyers coming into the utility sector and on a on a short term basis, let's see here, let's see on a short term basis, uh, we're matching the stock market's performance. I'm trying to see here, but on a daily basis, the stock market is still stronger. So I would be careful. I would wait for utilities to gain above this line. That's the stock market. I want the stock market to be below it, not above it. Like right here, I want it to give a tailwind. But I do like the fact that we're breaking above, and that's one of the the areas that algos are looking at right now. Um, other sectors that they've been really, really busy on has been blue chips. They've been hitting blue chips, but that's about it. That's about it. So you've had a little bit of utilities, energies, the S&P broad market, and financials. And I really like financials right now. I think financials are going to make another move higher on high volume. As a matter of fact, um, I'm probably going to end up going long the XLF if I see follow through this morning. I'm hoping that this is giving you guys some good information, but I like the financials right now. And I like how we're breaking out. And I also see that the tailwind is in our back here. See that on a five day basis? Oh, but yeah, it, it's been underneath us. We've been following, uh, S&P's following, not leading, which is really, really, really great. 
you can see it right here. So that's a positive, that's a very positive sign. I like, I like financials, um, starting to like utilities. I still like energies very much. Um, as far as individual stocks, I already showed you there's a lot of stocks breaking out. Take a look at the 20 week highs right now, a 20 day highs right now. There's a lot of stocks that are breaking out, including, uh, just let me give you Tesla, financials, Alphabet, Carvana, Microsoft, I'd like to see a little higher high there, um, Meta, let's see here, utilities, definitely utilities. PayPal is starting to show some signs of strength. We need to see a little higher volume. Uh, Oxy's looking great. I just wanted to give you kind of a uh, look at look at Micron. So there's a lot of really good stuff here. There's a lot. Look at uh, we 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 got in on this one, made money on that one there in the VIP room. Uh, CVE, but look at the 20 day breakouts, 20 day highs. They're doing really really well right now. And as far as uh, algos, algos have been hitting the financial sector, the utility sector. And a lot of these individual stocks that are in the S&P 500, the big players like Tesla, Google, uh, Carvana, I just, I just went over them with you one by one. Now, let's talk a little bit about the broad market and then we'll get into the nitty gritty, okay? So investors are watched for fallout from a strike initiated by the auto union workers with the focus now shifting to the Federal Reserve interest rate decision scheduled next week. The United Auto Workers launched an unprecedented strike against the Detroit for three. You guys know who they are, Chrysler, Ford, and GM. After negotiation over the union demand faltered and employees' four-year contracts with the companies expired at midnight. That's bad. Uh, that's bad. We'll see how that goes. That could put a little drag on the market as well. NASDAQ climbed to a one-week high, but blue chips, remember, they were leading lower. Now they're starting to lead higher again. Utilities coming back. Financials are coming back one and a half week high. So keep your eye on financials in light of blue chips, excuse me, keep your eye on blue chips in light of the tech sector, okay? Data on Thursday showed that producers price index stood at 1.6% compared to 0.8%, stronger than expected, which was good. It gave us a little bit of a, of a tailwind. Core PPI eased a little bit, but they were in line with estimates. Retail sales rose, they were actually better than expected and jobless claims was a nothing burger. Citigroup revised its projection now anticipating a 25 basis point increase by the Fed in November. I also agree with that. Um, there's a 31% probability of a 0.25 basis point rate hike in November, but I think this number is actually gonna increase in the next couple of weeks. We've got US consumer, Michigan consumer sentiment today, and we also have import and ex export, and we have industrial production. That comes out shortly before the market opens, but consumer sentiment comes out after. So if you see a little bump or a downside at 10 a.m., you know exactly what it is and what we're talking about here. Um, China, Europe, Europe, while better than expected, uh, Chinese economy data bolstered investment sentiment. China's looking a little better. That can give the U.S. a little bit of a boost. Europe is looking a little bit better. China today erased earlier gains and closed lower, even after data showed the country's economy gained activity. Uh, in August, that's great. Chinese industrial production and retail sales data grew more than expected in August, providing further evidence that earlier stimulus measures are beginning to take effect. That could really help us out. Uh, Japan, index closed higher and hit a two-month high, very good for us, underpinned by Wall Street's gains overnight. Uh, adding to positive sentiment, technology stocks experience a stellar rally on Friday. There's a lot of 20-day breakouts right now a lot of 20-day breakouts right now. Now, I wanted to talk to you about Adobe. Adobe, Adobe, Adobe. Adobe had earnings after the closing bell. The stock dropped, look at this, pre-market. The stock is gonna open up at 536 right here. It's still above, it's still above the 50-day moving average, okay? Now, overnight, you could see the stock went down went down. What I want to see is this very, very clearly. I want to see the stock break above the eight day EMA and head higher. The eight day EMA right now is quite a bit higher. It's at eight, uh, 458, four, excuse me, 548, 548. Yes. 548, not 448, 548, 548, right around 548, 550. The stock is trading at 536 right now. We need to see it rally. If it doesn't rally, no soup. I wanna see a strong reversal. 
I don't think we're going to get one. But if we do, I want to see a trade above the 8-day EMA at the 548, 550 level. Very, very important. Keep your eye on the bond market. If the bond market keeps breaking down, it's going to put pressure on uh, these stocks. And also, keep your eye on these stocks that are making 20-day breakouts uh, and ETFs, financials, Tesla, Alphabet, Carvana, uh, Microsoft, uh, what was the other one? Meta. I mean, this is really good. This is really, really good. Uh, Micron, Oxy, they're all making 20-day breakouts, and that's a good, good sign. The question is, are they, are they going to hold? But momentum levels are getting better. They're not getting worse right now. Now, folks, I've got something important. By the way, I'm going live today at 11 a.m., to talk about all of this, put it together, and give you options for these things. We're gonna take some trades today. Uh, folks, August was one of the worst months of the year so far for the stock market. The Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, they all went down. Yet everyone could have tapped into the 60-second trade just once per week and taken home about $2,900 for the month based on just a $2,000 starting stake because I've discovered an easier way to collect premium while markets are consolidating and moving sideways, much like we do in September. That's right. Historically, September is just one of those months. And the best part, these are high probability, low risk trades. Click on the link below. Check it out. I'm going live today at 1 p.m. again. We had historic. We, we, we were trying to fill 100 spots on a one year. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's just say it wasn't it wasn't pretty. It was it, it was rough. We hit, them, we, we hit them hard, and people are really excited about this. It's a great way to pick up some extra income right now. Follow the link below. It's in the video, below the video, above the video, and also don't miss the VIP room at 11 a.m. today. We had almost 300 people there yesterday. We're giving red meat, and people are profiting. I'm getting comments and feedback every day. Don't miss out. I'll see you at 11, and then I'll see you at 1. Link above or below this video. Now, you got to subscribe to my Telegram channel. Not only do you get pictures of my assistants, my Clyde and Harry, my meow and rough, rough assistants, but but you get free trades. I'm going to post some free trades for you guys there today and some levels. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Send me some emails and post below the comments in the video. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell. Roger dash Scott on YouTube and uh, Telegram, go to rogerscott.com forward slash Telegram. Hit that link and you'll be in. Bye. Have a great weekend. Bye.